welcome to Bulldog Video. This is Captain Glenn Remsen for the Citadel Office of Admissions. Currently, right now, I'm standing on the quadrangle of Paget Thomas Barracks, which is also referred to as 2nd Battalion. For many of you, on August 15, 2009, this is going to be your new home. This barracks houses Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, and Hotel Company, as well as Band Company. As you can see, it's kind of quiet around me right now, and that's because it's summer. Commencement was just a few weeks ago, and the Corps of Cadets is officially on furlough right now. Just a couple days ago, I got the opportunity to take a field trip away from campus and go down to Marine Corps Air Station in Beaufort for the air show that was just this past weekend. While we were there, we had the opportunity to meet with Commander Greg McWhorter, who graduated from the Citadel in the class of 1990. Currently, he is the commanding officer of the Blue Angels, the Navy Flight Demonstration Team. Not only that, during his distinguished Navy career, he's also served as a Top Gun instructor. So if you're feeling the need for speed today, stick around and see why Commander McWhorter came to the Citadel and how it helped him prepare for his career as a Blue Angel. my friends were going to, I, I think some of the bigger name schools, especially in Georgia, the Georgia, the Georgia Tech, uh, some of the bigger SEC schools. Uh, the thing that really attracted me to the Citadel was the fact that it was different. Uh, and quite honestly, I'd never even thought about the Citadel. Uh, and, you know, I'd, I'd seen the movie, you know, The Great Santini, Lords of Discipline, and stuff like that. So I had an idea about, you know, you know, military a little bit. But the thing that really attracted me about the Citadel uh, was the fact that it was, it was different. Uh, they sent me a brochure, and on the front of the brochure, it had a picture of a second battalion, uh, and it said, "Where manhood meets mastery." Uh, and it was—it's just just caught my eye. Uh, I wasn't a an exceptional athlete in, in high school, so I couldn't bank on the fact that I was going to get some sort of uh, some sort of scholarship. Um, so uh, I talked to my parents, and they kind of looked at the price tag and said, "You know, it's kind of expensive, but if that's really what you want to do, we'll figure out how to make it happen." biggest thing the Citadel does for you uh, is it, it teaches you that there's something more important than you as an individual uh, because you're immediately thrown into Navier. Uh, you get your head shaven, you get your identity stripped from, stripped from you, and the only way to survive is through your classmates. I mean, your classmates rely on you, you rely on them, uh, and that sense of team applies across the board. I can't count how many times someone in industry, uh, you know, a, a Fortune 500 company, Someone says, hey, what is the key to success in the military that we're missing in industry? And I was like, you know, it's some of, some of the basic things that you learn in Little League sports, things that I learned at the Citadel. It's, this, it's the, the point that, you know, you as an individual will never succeed by yourself. Uh, you need to know how to function as a team. And I think that's the biggest thing the Citadel taught us. You know, the other things it teaches you, you know, the basics of time management. I mean, you know, for the first time in your life as an 18-year-old, you know, young man or woman, I was stressed. I was stressed about getting my shoes done, making sure my bed was made, making sure I studied for all my in engineering courses. I mean, it was it was stressful. Uh, and while many of my friends who went to different colleges didn't ex didn't, didn't experience that and probably enjoyed their college career, I wouldn't say more than I did, just in a different way that, than than I did. Uh, I don't think that they had that benefit. And I that applies to everything I do. Uh, and I applied that immediately when I got out of the school and flight school. I've applied it in every fleet squadron. I applied it as a Top Gun instructor. I applied it as a commanding officer of a fleet squadron. It, those, those, uh, those lessons that you learn never change. <laughs> 